Hello everybody, this is Twin Yorgmas, but you can call me Simon. In this fourth episode of Play Mega Man 5, we're going to act like beginners as I plan on going through Starman stage with Moosley the Buster. Napalm Bombers, which we acquired last time, are going to make a short cameo appearance though. Without further ado, let's get started. On this first screen we're created by a nice starry background and some funky music. I burden that. I don't like Mega Man 5's music in general as it's a huge deviation from the standard upbeat and very melodic tunes. I mean, try to visit that. It's generally more on the atmospheric side, which is okay I guess, but falls really short in comparison to the rest of the series. I like this one though, as it fits the atmosphere just so nicely. You can be quiet now while dodging and sudden meteor storm about to happen. Some quick thinking, you shouldn't have any problems. This guy is gonna attack as soon as there's a fire. And with a bit of timing, which I fail at, is taken out with the Mega Buster quite easily. You can see the cannons about to pop up here. And the Mega Buster is gonna take care of that problem too. Oops. As I said, timing is everything. You shouldn't be hit by those slow moving bullets, but if you're an idiot like me, it can happen. As you probably noticed, the gravity in this stage is quite low, which is like an underwater level, but it's in space. I really like this theme here, because underwater levels were getting quite boring after four games of them. This is already the respawn point for the level, which is nice, because it wasn't really hard to get here, huh? As I said, this stage is great for beginners. The ladder is easy to collect too. Just gotta be careful, if you're having trouble, just let yourself get hit by an enemy. The invisibility period can protect you from spikes quite well. This is the hardest jump in the entire level. Still not that hard though. If you're wondering why I'm using the buster, well the huge AOE is generally better, because you'll always hit with it. Also, keeping it charged up can make you deal with uh, uh, ambushes like this easily. This screen could be problematic if not for the properties of the buster to be able to kill the cannons while they're still deployed. Like so. If you got your eye at, uh, if you can pay attention to the green things in the bottom, you're gold. This thing seems threatening, but in reality cannot hit us at all if you're standing here. Just jump when he fired. Patience is the key. Don't get too frustrated if you don't hit his hit po uh, weak point often because it's damn small. Just like with the uh, robots you have to hit on the eye, this thing can be a bit of pain on the ass because, uh, well, the hitbox, as I said, is kind of small. So, an ambush is about to happen here. And it's not really easy to dodge. Later on we'll get more tools to deal with it, but now, if you get this stage first, well, just deal with it. I could have gotten hit here and got the extra life, but why should I bother? So, we've got the return of the penis heads here. They're not really a problem in this part of the level, because, well, we can jump so highly, I don't even know why they're here, except to serve as distraction, I guess? Now, this is the part where I show off napalm bombs first time, because this floor isn't real. I just go through it, normally they would bounce on it, and I cannot use Opa Wave here at all. It is for all purposes, not a floor. If this is just shoddy coding or if they couldn't do it any other way, I don't know. Well, whatever. This is already the boss gate, as you see, short level, easy level, very well, very nice level for beginners. Just keep your cool, don't jump into spikes and you should be fine. Our boss isn't that easy, you gotta be quick on your feet, but, well, you'll see. He always opens up with a jump, just slide away. Only when the scar crash of him is fired, you can hit him. Just wait for your opportunity. It's kind of boring, but well, sometimes he will fire it, sometimes he won't. Sometimes he will jump around a lot, like he does right now. But generally, I'm not too concerned. As you see, even though this clearly hit me from the looks of it, its AoE is in reality very small. And you shouldn't have great trouble dodging it at all. Just remember, you can stand really near to him, 
wait for him to jump. Remember that you will lose your Buster Charge if you get hit. And remember, the low gravity works in your favor, not in his. You see, I was really inside the shield here, but well, the hitbox is in this game not the best. And well, mid-air finish, but that was to ex be expected. Star Crash is not a good weapon. It suffers because of many problems and I will address them later when I show it off. For now let it be known, it is not the worst shield weapon, that is by all means plant barrier, but it's really close. Super Arrow, we will see later, is a great tool, but one, not one I use very often because it's, well, quite hard and I'm not the best player. Anyway, have a password and thanks for your attention.